So if you're looking for the best laptop for music production under $1,000, this is that video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. All right, so if you want a laptop for music production, it has to be a powerful laptop. It has to handle opening a lot of VSTs, plugins, effects. So I made sure on my list, these laptops can do that. All the laptops that I mentioned will be in a link in the description. These laptops can pretty much handle most programs you throw at it, like FL Studio, Ableton Live, Reaper, Reason, Cubase, Studio one cakewalk pro tools and a lot more if you're thinking about getting to logic pro and final cut or anything like that you want to get a macbook the m1 macbook mini and so you can use all the apple products i wouldn't recommend using windows stuff on the m1 computer yet is you know it's just too new all right so let's go ahead and start this off number one the asus tfu gaming fx 505 gt this is a 15 inch laptop that has a lot of features while keeping the price down design wise it looks pretty okay and it doesn't look super cheap in my opinion and it does give off that vibe that you do more than just search the internet and the build quality is better than cheap so it's built to last inside you get a ninth generation i5 processor it also comes with the intel boost that'll give you more performance if needed it also turns off if you want to save energy and you're not using it it comes with an nvidia 1650 graphics card eight gigabytes of ram that's upgradable and a 512 gigabyte ssd memory that you can upgrade as well it has a really nice cooling system so if you have a bunch of plugins it should be fine this computer comes with the anti-dust system that keeps the inside clean so you don't have to worry about that stuff as much it also comes with two usb 3 ports one usb 2 port and an hdmi port and an audio jack along with the ethernet port it also comes with a 1080p 120 refresh rate screen and an rgb backlit keyboard the only bad thing i would really have to say about this laptop is that the screen is not good for outdoors but it's not like you're going outside anyway unless you're like djing at an outside party so I wouldn't take this laptop to the beach for inspiration or something. So I feel like this is a really great laptop to really get started with if you're thinking about taking it seriously. And it even has the option to edit videos if you really want to get into editing videos and do the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Next on my list is the Acer Nitro 5. Similar to the last laptop that I mentioned, this is a 15 inch gaming laptop that should be powerful enough to just to create music. It has a huge battery, so it's built to last long. It comes with the AMD Ryzen 5 processor a GTX 1650 graphics card, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of SSD memory. The design of this laptop looks pretty acceptable and the price is right. If you pull out this laptop and you're out on a date, she's gonna know you spent a little bit of money. The keyboard lights up in colors and little do she know you did not spend as much money. This computer just feels right. It has 11 hours of battery life. In the computer world, that's a lot if you don't know already. I mean, I, 11 hours is a lot. You can change out the RAM and the storage if you wanna upgrade it later. And and it has a 1080p 60 refresh hertz screen. It comes with three USB type A ports, one USB C port. It has an audio jack and an HDMI port. And you want to make sure you're using an audio interface with this laptop because the sound quality out the box with this laptop is pretty trash, but it doesn't matter if you have an audio interface. If you're looking for a budget computer that does great in performance, I would definitely check out this laptop. Next on my list is the Asus Rogue GS531 GT. Imagine a base model Mercedes. This is the AMG version. This powerful laptop will handle making music and opening a lot of plugins all at once. It literally looks like a restaurant skillet. When it gets hot, just serve up some eggs and bacon while you're working on your next hit. It comes with the ninth generation i7 processor. That right there is to let you know it should power a lot of plugins. It also comes with the NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics card. So if you ever feel like editing music videos, you have that power too. It also comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, but if you want to upgrade it, you can upgrade it to 32 gigabytes. It also comes with the 512 gigabyte SSD memory, so it's super fast. This laptop comes with a 1080p 120 refresh hertz screen, and it also comes with a really good cooling system, so if you're making music for hours and hours, it should keep the processor really cool and lasting longer. They call it 3D Flow Zone. Not sure exactly what that means, but it works. The fans in this laptop also has an anti-dust cooling system so inside it should be clean for a very long time it has a lot of vents on the back to really let this laptop breathe like a gas mask the design and the build quality is very sturdy it definitely gives off the vibe that you do more than just watch youtube videos online this laptop is also a head turner so if you really want to get that girl's attention this laptop is an icebreaker there's a nice light at the bottom that make it look like it's levitating like a bad jump shot and just know if you get this laptop it does not come with the webcam so if you plan on 
working on Zoom calling your girl at night, you might have some issues. The keyboard is multicolored and I personally love that. And you can also use this if you have any like office work type jobs or work from home type jobs, you should be fine with this. The keyboard feels soft to the touch. The Asus GT comes with three USB 3.1 type A ports and an audio jack. In the back, it has an HDMI port and an ethernet port. And for the price and performance, I think you'll be happy with this laptop and it's under a thousand dollars. Next on my list, Lenovo Legend 5. This laptop kind of reminds me of a razor blade, but different. The design of the Legend gives off vibes that you spend a little bit of money and it doesn't look cheap. It's made out of a hard plastic material, like a fake friend. The Legend 5 is a really powerful laptop and it comes with the AMD Ryzen 7, which is an octa-core processor, which should be good enough to handle a lot of plugins and VSTs. It also comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, which is also upgradable. It also comes with the NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics card. So if you feel like editing the music videos, you have that power too. And a 512 gigabyte SSD, which is also upgradable. This laptop comes with the 1080p 120 refresh hertz screen. The bezels on this laptop are super thin and it flips all the way back to 180 degrees. Just in case you want to type on one side and use the other side as a dinner table to eat on, this laptop is designed for a professional or power user like you. The Legend 5 should handle like literally any VSC you throw at it. It comes with really good speakers, but I wouldn't use that to like make music. I would use studio monitors. And if you want to see a video I have on Yamaha's, click the card at the top right. The keyboard on the Legend 5, it lights up great at night, but it doesn't have RGB lighting. So if you don't care about that, it works. The Legend 5 come with four USB 3.1 type A ports and one USB C port. It also comes with the HDMI port and an ethernet port. Also a audio jack. If you're the person that always goes out and travels a lot, this computer has a really long lasting battery life. The Legend 5 is a really good option in my opinion if you're really thinking about taking music seriously and spending under a thousand dollars for a laptop. Next on my list is the MSI GF65 Thin. The MSI GF65 Thin is a really good budget friendly MSI laptop and it fits right under a thousand dollars. This laptop comes with the i7 processor which should be perfect for handling a bunch of VSTs. It comes with the Nvidia GTX 1660 graphics card, perfect for editing videos. It also comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM, which you can upgrade to 64 gigabytes. Inside there's a 500 gigabyte SSD memory, which is one of the fastest memory cards if you guys don't know already. This laptop comes with the HD 120 refresh hertz screen, and it looks really nice. It has thin bezels. It doesn't look old at all. And it also has long lasting battery life. Great for traveling if you're going from place to place. And if you plan on making beats with this laptop, you should be fine. This laptop is also lightweight, and this laptop also comes with a backlit keyboard perfect for making beats at night. This laptop feels really good to the touch. The MSI GF65 has a really good cooling system to cool down the whole thing when you're making music for hours. And it comes with two USB-C ports and three USB 3.2 type A ports. It also comes with the audio jack and the ethernet port. If you get this laptop, beware of the loud fan that it has. You don't wanna put this next to the microphone or anything like that. You might get bleed into the microphone if you're planning on recording in a booth or something like that with the laptop in the booth. Sometimes this happens with my razor blade that I have. And what I do is I set the computer outside of the booth that I'm recording in. This laptop has a really horrible webcam and it looks like somebody just licked their fingers and just smudged it on the camera and just left it there. And the trackpad isn't that bad, but I would suggest just getting a mouse anyway. So I hope this video was able to help you make a decision on getting a laptop under a thousand dollars in 2021. Let me know in the comments, what laptop do you have right now? Are you using a thousand dollar laptop? Are you using a $300 laptop? Are you using your mom's computer? Like, let me know in the comments. I'm very interested into knowing that. And if you want to check out all the specs of these laptops, there will be a link in the description. Hopefully you guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.